So we're here at the ARM TechCon 2011. So uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Behus. I'm VP of Marketing for Magma. So what does Magma do? Magma. Magma um, is known for the physical design implementation tool about 10 years ago when it came to market. Since then, a lot has changed. We continue to do very large SOC designs, but now these SOCs are becoming more and more, uh, you know, mixed signal. They have a lot of analog IPs. They have very large blocks, and most of them runs on very high, you know, leading bleeding edge process nodes. So we continue to do SOC service our customer to do very large SOC designs, but they, as a whole, are becoming much more complex. So here you're showing some examples. Uh, there's, for example, uh, Asus uh, Transformer, and there's a BlackBerry Playbook. Yes. So why do you show this here in the world? Well, uh, this has been ARM conference uh, also, and, uh, and uh, a lot of these customers, uh, they do what's known as uh, very high-end application processors. These are designed for tablets, for mobile, as well as some consumer products. Now, what's so difficult about these application processors, they all have a few things in common. One is that they're all very large. That means, especially at the top level, when you need to bring the SOC together. So you need a very differentiated solution to bring about uh, the integration of these very large SOCs. Also, they happen to run on uh, 28 and soon to be 20 nanometer process nodes. So you have uh, a lot of issues that's known as timing closure and sign-off closure. So again, the platform that is able to enable uh, sign-off closure combined with implementation is what we bring to party for this, some of these partners. And then the last thing is that they're all low power. That means they run on multi-voltage domains so that having a very sophisticated uh, uh, low power design flow is very important for these SOCs. So that's why this, typically these application processor designs happen to be a very sweet spot for Magma to be able to help our partners to service their OEMs. So is Magma basically a team of uh, processor engineers? Processor designers, or how, what's your role? Do you sell tools? We are an ADA provider. That means uh, we provide software tools that is used for design implementation of these SOCs. We do not. We do have services, and we do help our customers as needed. But uh, by far, we remain to be innovator on technology providing the software such that design engineer can design these SOCs. So. Uh, for example, here you have, this says Honeycomb there, uh, there's some flash going on here, and uh, where are you in here? We're right here, and as you can see, this is uh, what this uh, poster tries to illustrate, is, uh, is a supply chain of any of these high-end tablets or mobile processors. You have the software component, you have the application components, and obviously you have the chip components, which is uh, the device itself. In that, what we're showing here is an NVIDIA Tegra 2 product line that was uh, used, uh, you know, using Magma to design. And in that, you have a high level of integration of many, many functionalities, including the baseband itself. The application processor includes, uh, you know, the processing power, the interfaces, as well as obviously a lot of memory subcomponent and subsystems. And over there, for example, it runs Qnix, there's some flash going on, and then it's just magma, and you don't show the other bubbles? Yeah, why not, why not? It's, uh, I guess it's the same, same sort of idea posters of showing the supply chain of any of these. The OMAP uh, TI, being one of the earliest uh, customers of Magma, continue to use us, continuing going forward for the, what's known as the OMAP processors. Uh, in that, uh, there are other ED vendors might be used, but uh, by far, Magma has uh, you know, the biggest footprint, especially working over many, many years with TI. And this is uh, you know, illustrating that uh, no chip today gets done by a single vendor. Also, uh, what, we, what we like to say is that uh, some of these uh, chips are turning to Magma for some of the most difficult tasks, while they're completely open and happy to work with other ED vendors to bring about uh, these products to the market. Can you say a little bit about, for example, let's say OMAP 3 and OMAP 4, which part are you involved in? Um, I think from early days when the OMAP came about, in, uh, you know, when the first uh, smartphone was designed, uh, you know, obviously to the market by Nokia, we've been involved with OMAP series. Uh, OMAP 3 was always, uh, obviously the time where the, the product line took off, and you saw OMAP 3 in many of the products that you see, in the, especially today. And uh, we uh, continue our engagement with OMAP 5 uh, today even. And, and uh, so for us, our engagement has continuously been uh, good with TI, making sure we can help them as they design these very sophisticated, more complex application processes. So I would say we stay very committed and stay very involved with TI and other application processes like TI. So as the processors get more complicated, more advanced, there's even more use for Magma? 
Yes, so our uh, value proposition from day one has been uh, a unified data model that is enabled not only nowadays a digital design, but a mixed signal design which has analog, memory subsystems, and digital components. And uh, today our platform uh, remains to be the only platform that in a single environment you can implement these products, and you can sign off these products, and you can actually characterize these products fully. You so can sign off, sir? Sign off, as a timing sign off, as extraction, as well as physical verification. So yes, the, uh, we will see more and more of these high-end SOC turning to Magma for the value proposition of being able to do bigger design and using less engineers to do more work. That's the value of a single unified data model that removes a lot of pessimism and also removes a lot of miscorrelation between different point tools that you need to come in and out of the flow. So let's say a product is coming out for Christmas. And uh, at which point are people still using Magma to try to make it work and debug? And is it until the last few weeks before it gets released? Or is it much earlier? Uh, so typically what happens, uh, the, the chip design happens uh, probably six to eight months before you see a product at best case in, on a shelf on a Christmas and such. So we're working with a lot of customers that we cannot mention with a lot of products that you cannot mention that probably you're not going to see this Christmas. But uh, probably they're going to start sampling in manufacturing for silicon in summer of next year. And probably by next Christmas, if they happen to be very hot uh, consumer product, you will see them by next Christmas. So typically we lag about 8 to 12 months of the innovation that you will see in the market in best cases. So if there is a delay and something cannot be released for Christmas, it's not your fault? It's not going to be our fault, not this time. Unless we did something that wasn't right the year before, that's going to lead to this. Uh, what you did not get in this Christmas. And they're not going to use your your software to try to fix last minute bugs? Uh, there is, uh, again, uh, there are, uh, I mean, manufacturing of these parts are complex as well. And there are a lot of products and softwares are used for battle yield as well as debugging these products. We do not get involved toward the very end of this uh, manufacturing, better yield, improving the yield process. However, as any uh, chip designer will know, we one of the uh, things we have to guarantee is that our chip uh, you know, is physically verified and, uh, and is applied and actually compliant to all the rules that manufacturing provides uh, to the fabless or our customers uh, to be able to make sure that once that uh, chip actually leaves the tape out, as they call it, so that uh, manufacturing is fully functional. All right. So thanks a lot. Thank you. Looking forward to the next secret part tomorrow. All right. Thank you.